Hello everyone, this is the fourth video in this uh, video series of installation storage compute with server 2016 exam 70-740 and in this video I'm gonna uh, show you how to configure manage and work with the local storage in server to, to, uh, 2016 a little bit about uh, the disk management uh, uh, so uh, the tools we're going to use in this video are computer management, disk part, utility, and the server manager file and server storage. Now this lecture, uh, this quick, uh, th this lab is all about uh, storage video. So um, now storage means uh, basically, so a little bit about storage. Storage means disk where we can store data. Now data is comprised of files and folders that we store on a computer and uh, data is stored on on disk in the form of a binary binary language uh, binary language is made up of ones and zeros uh, and the data will be stored as uh, for example if we type a and store a on a disk it will be stored in the form of binary language and the code that will be written on disk will be uh, 0100000 and 001 uh, this is a binary code for a and likewise there is a binary code for b c and so on uh, and the binary data is stored on disk in the form of digital signals so this data will be will be uh, converted into this digital signal and this is how it will be stored on these uh, disks so disks uh, we can find different uh, we can find different type of disk based on their cost and performance uh, uh, from slow to fast here in the picture you can see the disk from slow to fast uh, the oldest is i uh, e i d e um, and then that was upgraded to Sara Drive. Sara was upgraded. Sara still are in use uh, in computers. And then uh, there are SCSI drives. Uh, they we can get IOPS uh, input output from uh, 150 and onwards. And then we can get SAS disks. Mostly used these both disks are mostly used in servers. Whereas in computers we use Sara drive or SSD nowadays. And SSD is being the fastest drive available. Now uh, the other concept that we need to know about uh, local managing local storage in uh, in server 2016 so it is all about how disks are attached uh, are being managed inside a server so when we uh, talk about a disk uh, disk uh, we have a partition table partition table basically uh, has the information stores the information how data will be how is uh, data being stored on the disk uh, there are two ways MBR and GPT uh, if we format a disk so this is a format table if we format a disk based on MBR that disk uh, cannot uh, use more than two terabytes and there will be maximum four partitions so this is MBR is for the disk that are less than two terabytes or two terabytes where, where, whereas wherever whenever we need to manage disk more than two terabytes we will be we will format the disk with GPT where we can use disk size more than two TB maximum partitions we can make 128 partitions and uh, this size uh, can be supported up to 18 exabyte uh, disk type and there so there are different disk types supported in windows os basic disk and dynamic disk basic this is the default disk available whereas dynamic disk we can mo modify a disk size without restarting a server several other options are present so dynamic disk is newer uh, whereas basic disk is old disk type and then um, once the disk is formatted uh, then we can uh, we can select what type of file system we can uh, configure on a disk and there are three types of file system fat being the oldest fat is a basic file system uh, file system basically dictates how files and folders will be stored and how do we manage files and folders on a disk uh, so fat is the oldest one ntfs enables uh, security permissions acl we can have encryption or auditing with ntfs and refs which is resilient file system is the latest one um, it has the backward compatibility of uh, NTFS enhanced data verification error correction so basically this is the oldest FAT is not in use and most of the computers we use NTFS in uh, corporate networks enterprise networks we use NTFS REFS is a newer file system that was introduced in server 2012 and now it is available in 2016 as well
based on disk types as we can see here oldest is eide and sara drive and scuzzy so as as you go up uh, in this graph you can see that the cost is increasing as well so ssd is being the most expensive but it gives you the fastest speed um, then there are different disk volumes available um, once the uh, disk is formatted we select a file system uh, then we'll have to select what type of volume we need most of the time in servers and computer we use simple volume uh, span volume is when we need to when we need to combine two or three disks together and we have striped volume mirrored and red and i will be explaining that in another video uh, the tools we use to manage the disk or storage are computer management disk part and server manager so basically in this lab what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna we're gonna work on server one uh, actually server uh, one actually we're gonna work on server two on server one we, we will be doing different labs so on server two we will add a disk so here what I'm gonna do is we can uh, we can add a disk so I'm gonna bring a disk so one disk is already available so one disk is actually already available inside the server that is uh, basically called a C drive and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add three more disks here and then I'm gonna format them so that we can see different type of formatting available so so what, we're, what we're, we are going to do we're going to add four more disks in this server and i'm going to show you how to add these four more disks so one of the disk uh, and i will show you how we can manage these disks with different uh, disk management tools so let's get started so all we need to do is uh, log into our server so we have three servers based on our previous labs uh, so so first first of all this is I'm logged into one of the offers servers so first of all the disk management tools there are three number one is computer management we can go to tools and we can see computer management right here and within computer management we have uh, a special disk management tool that is known as disk management so this my this is one of the tool that is available and uh, and here I can see I have a C drive available I have uh, uh, I have DVD available and here if I select C drive it shows me that it's a uh, disk 0 and uh, the 0 has uh, two partitions one is system reserved this is automatically made when the server is installed and C drive which is a boot drive it has everything so this disk is available so this is one of the tools w which we can use to manage uh, uh, the disk and if we if we if we want to if we want to see the c drive we can go into open windows explorer uh, within windows explorer we can go to c drive this is our c drive and if i go to uh, this pc we can see c drive and this is a dvd that we use uh, uh, for 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 installation uh, purposes so this is c drive as we can see we don't have any other drives available uh, the second tool uh, that i'm going to show you is file and storage services here so the first tool was computer management second tool is file and storage services and within file and storage services I can see volume disk and storage if we go to disk here in the disk it shows it will show us the same information that we can see in disk management so here uh, we can see uh, disk 0 which is 60 GB and if I go back to computer management I can see C drive and it's simple uh, it's a simple volume it is a basic disk and the file system is NTFS so this is the same thing we what we just what we saw just here in our slide uh, where I talked about uh, disk uh, 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 file system uh, being NTFS and volume being simple. So this is simple and NTFS. So, so first tool is computer management. Second tool is uh, a second tool is this one, which is file and storage services. And here we can manage disk in different ways. So, and here we can see that C drive is 60 GB, and it is partition of type of MBR, and uh, and it can support up to two terabytes. Uh, it can support up to two terabytes. Uh, 
um, so what I'm gonna do is um, I am going to add four disks so what you need to do right click here on a server or you can right click on the server and go to settings and here I can see it has only one disk so I'm gonna add four disks so add disk one I'm gonna go to disk and go to SCSI next and here it says how much we will uh, we will set up a capacity of let's say 10 GB and nothing else so this is the first disk, d disk being added and I'm gonna add the second disk which is again so this will be 20 GB so I'm setting up this size so that we can see different size of disks available on the server just to recognize them but you can have them with the same size or a different size so here this disk will be um, 15 GB and the last disk will be 30 GB So all the four disks are added and we can press OK, click OK here and, uh, and, and as soon as the disks are added here you don't see anything so what we need to do we need to refresh the screen and even in computer management but computer management will show you right away that we have added so we had just disk 0 as soon as I added 10 GB 20 GB 15 GB and 30 GB it has added all the disk but they are of color blacks uh, meaning they are not initialized and they are all offline but if we go back to file and storage services here I don't see anything I can we can refresh so this is refresh as soon as you refresh it should be able to show us the other four disks that we just added so and uh, so the very first time when you add a new disk it is not formatted it is not usable and uh, so since uh, uh, so this is being refreshed I can go actually it's right here now so we can see four disks 10 20 15 and 30 and these are all offline disks. so if I go to computer uh, Windows Explorer I see only C drive I am not able to see the other four drives in order to see the other four drives we will need to format them so the very first thing we do with the new disk is to format the disk so I'm gonna format the disk using computer management so this is the disk that we need to format and make it usable uh, so that we can start uh, creating files inside so in C drive I can see files I can create folders and files so just like this one so I'm gonna create a file uh, a folder called temp but I don't have the other disk available so let's uh, make the first disk available so I'm gonna go to computer management right click on disk one first of all make it online secondly initialize the disk and then here it asks us which type of partition uh, which type of uh, part uh, which type of format uh, partition would we like uh, MBR master boot record or GPT GUID partition table this is for disk that are more than 2 TB and this is for the disk that is less than 2 TB so I'm going to select MBR so and the next thing that is required so since it is online let's go back to computer it is still not here because it's not formatted yet so I'm going to go back and right click on this and make it a simple volume so I'm going to say simple volume all of the disk and the drive letter it will assign E drive and next and here I'm going to say uh, this is my data storage so data storage click finish and in few seconds so since it is ready now I can go back to computer and I can see my data storage disk I will double click on this we can create folders files so so this is one thing to remember that as soon as you add a new disk it is not usable until we make it online initialize and format it so now we have the second disk available so um, in this uh, in this video I've shown you how to work with uh, a disk in the second video we're going to continue and uh, and uh, configure the rest of the disk thank you for watching this video